Let's discuss the best products, haircuts, hair colors and styling techniques for fine hair. And if you're thinking who is this fella tell me what to do with my fine hair let me introduce myself. If you're new to my channel and if you're not welcome back I'm Mike. I'm who I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal color specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film we shall be discussing fine hair. What type of products you should use for your fine hair, what type of haircuts are the best for fine hair, what type of colours are the best for fine hair to make them look fuller and how you should style your hair. So a few tips and tricks for styling your fine hair to make them look fuller. So if you want to find out more about fine hair and how to make your fine hair look thicker and fuller then you better keep on watching. What is this story everyone? This film is dedicated for people with fine hair that are wanting their fine hair to look thicker and denser and like myself I do have fine hair and I'm constantly struggling with making, well I'm not struggling, constantly I want to make it look thicker and fuller and denser and I look at other people and I'm like oh my god I wish I had that type of head of hair but I don't. So we have to work with what we have. So in today's film we're going to cover what type of products you should use for fine hair to make them look thicker, what type of hair colour you should have in your hair to make it look fuller, what type of haircuts are the best for fine hair and what type of styling you should do on your hair to make it look fuller and thicker. So you guys starting off with product choice for fine hair. Now you guys with over 13 years experience in hairdressing industry I've always heard that in my chair when it comes to fine hair is like people are afraid to use products because they're afraid they're gonna weigh it down. Now if you scroll down through my channel there is a lot about different products for fine hair, if your hair is fine and dry, if your hair is fine and damaged, etc, etc, if you need a good volumizing product. But the key to make fine hair look thicker is the prep. You need to prep the hair before styling. So obviously the right shampoo and the right conditioner. If you're looking for volume, a volumizing shampoo and conditioner is a go-to. And do not avoid conditioner. Why loads of people think it's like, oh, I'm gonna avoid conditioner and I'm gonna get more volume. No, if a product is paired with a conditioner, it's paired for a reason because two of those products work better together to create that volume and every hair needs a conditioner if you ask me. So do not be afraid of conditioner. If your hair needs density, use a densifying shampoo and a conditioner and like that always use shampoo and a conditioner and do not be afraid to use conditioner but use the right amount obviously you don't need a lot you only need a tiny bit when it comes to styling products products like root lift that's some that's brilliant you can spray that onto your roots to create more root lift mousses are brilliant for hold so if i'm looking for hold like if you're doing a style if you style your hair with rollers and you want something to hold it you need mousse so anything that's densifying and volumizing is good products are not bad for volume if they're made for volumizing they will make your hair fuller obviously finding the right product for your hair is very important but do not be afraid to use product when it comes to volume because like i said you need to prep the hair to get the final result choosing the right color for fine hair now you guys a lot of people will argue with me but obviously darker hair will always always make the hair look thicker fuller and healthier blonde hair does not reflect as much light as brown and dark hair therefore blonde hair makes the hair look finer now another thing is if you're a highlight client and your hair is fine and you're highlighting it obviously we are using bleach and what bleach does to the hair obviously it sensitizes it and it lightens the undercoats in the hair so the hair becomes weaker and finer so you're automatically changing the thickness and the density of the hair using your highlights so obviously i would always recommend if you are blonde be more of a tinted or darker blonde and darker hair will appear to look thicker and fuller also creating contrast is very very good because as we all know we can take this from makeup contouring and highlighting if you're gonna 
if you are highlighting clients you can definitely go for more low lights and highlights because like that then are you creating depth shadows and lights in your hair which is going to give a texture and something like ombre or balayage is also very good because like that you are creating texture and if we have fine hair texture is very important because it's going to appear to look like we have more hair and we have texture but the rule of thumb is if you have fine hair definitely go more on the deeper tones because that's going to make the hair look appear fuller than lighter tones because like that if you're highlighting and lightening your hair you're damaging your hair so you're making the hair automatically thinner and obviously we're not getting as much light reflection so the hair is gonna appear even thinner the right haircut for fine hair now you guys when it comes to right haircuts for fine hair now let me explain to you from a hairdressing point of view in hairdressing we have three techniques which is line which is your basic straight haircut then we have layers and we have graduation those are your three techniques that you do when you cut hair now what i always advise is if you have really really fine hair layers are a no-go you're better off keeping it as blunt as possible because if you have blunt lines in your hair that will automatically make it look fuller what layering technique does to the hair layering actually takes the weight out of the hair so if you layer the hair you're actually taking the bulk and the heaviness of the hair now we're gonna get to that because if you have layered hair and you are styling it correctly you can actually get volume but if you're one of those wash and goes clients literally layers are a no because what they're going to do is they're going to take that weight from your baseline and the baseline is going to look weaker so it's going to look like you're going to have less hair but you're going to get more texture here but if you want the hair to appear fuller no layers then we have graduation so anything like graduated bob graduation builds weight so the minute you're going to get graduation in your hair so if you're going to start graduating your hair and you're going to get graduated haircuts that's going to build volume to the hair because it goes from shorter to longer making the longest piece of the hair to sit on top of it creating fullness to the hair obviously if you have short hair you can use the mixture of techniques you can have a graduation on the sides and layers on top because if you look at my hair my hair is clearly layered but that's all down to styling obviously my hair is layered i blow dry i put product in it and i create texture in my hair so if you wear your hair short obviously the length to layer is also very important but you can create texture and volume with layers depending on styling now if you have long hair and you're going to layer it forget about it obviously the length of the hair is very important if the hair is fine and it's too long it's going to sit very flat on the scalp and all the weight is going to sit here we don't want that we want balance so obviously keeping your hair shorter will make it look fuller and thicker best styling tips for fine hair now you guys so we spoke about prepping the hair like that we have to prep the hair with the right products obviously then we spoke about color and haircut so obviously depending on your haircut you're going to style differently i spoke about layers and like i said layers take the weight out of the hair but if we style the hair that is layered with volume so we're going to blow dry it with brushes we're going to put rollers in we can create volume what is very handy for volume is definitely creating movement in your hair so curly blow dries big rollers this is your best friend because like that if we're keeping our hair straight there's no volume or no movement if we're actually going to create a bit of curl or a bit of movement that's going to automatically give lift to our fine hair using something like rollers is also very good so you can blow dry your hair pop your rollers in and let that set and obviously spray it so hairspray is your best friend texturizing spray is your best friend dust is your best friend anything that can give movement and hold is your best friend when it comes to fine hair old school back brushing or back combing is also very very good so what you can do is you can take out a section and back brushes pop your roller in and that's going to hold it so when it comes to styling make sure you use the right product so obviously before you blow dry your hair you need something volumizing to give the hair the hold use bigger brushes try to create a curl or movement try to set your hair with rollers back comb it or even wave your hair because the minute you're going to wave or add movement to your hair the hair is automatically going to appear and look fuller and thicker when it comes to fine hair it's quite of a struggle i have fine hair and i'm always looking for densifying products everything i mean you know 
the list just goes on. But what you have to remember is the right shampoo and the right conditioner. Don't be afraid to use conditioner. Do not be afraid to layer the product. If you need mousse for volume and thickness, use mousse for volume and thickness. If you need something like a rude lifting spray, use it. Do not be afraid. Product is your best friend because product is gonna prep and support the hair for a hold. When it comes to color, try to create contrast. Stay away from highlighting, over highlighting the hair and being too bright because if your hair is too bright then you might be able to see the scalp etc etc you know where i'm you know you know what i'm saying and try to be deeper when it comes to blondes definitely go more of a darker blonde than a lighter blonde and when it comes to haircuts try to create something with volume stay away from layers unless you're gonna style your hair with volume but other than that, if you're wash and go clients, try to create something like a graduated bob or something with graduation that's going to lift the hair. Do not have the hair too long because obviously if the hair is too long, it's just going to look too stringy. And try to keep your baseline as sharp as possible. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's film. I hope you found this film rather interesting, helpful and useful. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also, check out my other social media. And of course, you guys, please, please, please do what? Do take care. Bye.